<laughs> Chief Tony, My brother. thank you for accepting us into your home. They say the tour doesn't run in the afternoon for nothing. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> My young nephew here, Bright, said he has seen a flower in your garden and he would love to pluck and keep for himself. <laughs> <laughs> Lola, you are welcome, my brother. Thank you. For welcome. Thank you. I also appreciate the drink. Uh, but uh, I, I, I don't have a garden in this house, so I don't really understand the. I don't know the flower I want to pluck. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Bright has fallen in love with your daughter. <sighs> And we would love to ask for a hand in marriage. Mm. <laughs> yes. Mm. You see, I've known Bright since he was a child. Eh? He's a responsible young man, okay. highly ambitious, and I'm happy to accompany him on this journey. Yeah, it's a good thing. Uh, You've done well, my brother. You've done really well. Um, but um, I think my daughter is at home. We we'll have to call her to find out what she says. You exactly. understand? Because exactly. I'm not going to marry my daughter. You understand? <laughs> Funny. I think she's upstairs. Abby. Call her for me. Uh, no. <laughs> bright, bright. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. <laughs> He's my boy. Most of these young boys these days, they don't want to marry. No! <laughs> <laughs> you've done well, you've done well. Thank you, sir. Uh, you've done well, at least, to uh, know that you have to take the two from your uncle. <laughs> That's good. Welcome there. <laughs> Bryce, right. take your drink. No, take care of yourself. <laughs> My beautiful daughter, do you know this young man? Yes, daddy. He has come with his uncle for a formal introduction to the family. Bright here wants to have your hand in marriage. What did you say about that? I'm not interested. Yeah. 
bright. meaning of what? Mom, I just said that I needed to spend more time with him. Excuses! Every time you keep finding one excuse or the other to chase all your suitors away. Eh? So this thing you're saying about not knowing him well enough is an excuse. Mom, please. I've had a very long day. Continue to do silence. You are doing silence now because you think you have a smooth skin, fresh face. Very soon wrinkles will start to appear there. And you see the way that your skin is getting wrinkled. That's how your eggs too will start getting wrinkled. Anytime any sperm is coming there, by the time you marry when you're 100, the sperm is coming there, by then the skin will be wrinkled. The skin of the egg self will be wrinkled. It will reject any sperm that is coming. No more baby. And that is how you will find out that you are 105. No baby. Nothing happening in your life. Don't be deceived by that story in the Bible, no? That they are saying that Sarah oh! is not. And that you... Yeah, who, who are you shouting at? Who are you shouting at? Is it me? <sighs> I'll be kitchen wow. Even if I don't have power to beat you again, I will bite you. I still have power in my teeth. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Oh. My beautiful mom. My darling, how are you? How are you? Good. 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 I like Genevieve, so I've talked to Dad about it, and uh, Dad, that is cool. Did you tell me about it before going to tell your daddy? No, Mom, it's just man to man, though. Of course, I'll still definitely tell you more. Nancy is there protecting her family, making it look as if everything is okay with her family. Dad said they are, they are good family, so I don't see anything wrong with them. I hear you. Mom, see, see, I, I, I love Genevieve and I want to marry her. That old woman? How dare you tell me? Mom, Genevieve is 28 and I'm 29. That makes it perfect for mm, me. I'm sorry for you. Mom, see, I love Genevieve and I want to marry her and I want you to understand that fact. No child of mine will marry a prostitute because she works in the club. Mom, Genevieve is not a prostitute. Do not disrespect me. Hey, uh, I'll oh, see you outside. Right. What is the meaning of what you did yesterday? Let's see. See, you, you, you gave me no choice. All right? I love you and I want to marry you. How many times will I tell you to stay away from me? Baby, you don't have to be harsh, okay? See, just, just give me a chance to show you love. And I promise you will love me right back. This thing good. Right. Do you realize we have nothing in common? Do you? <laughs> well, well, why would you say that? Oh, because of your job? I will get you another job, a better one, the one that befits a married woman. Do you understand? Which married woman wants to be a club manager? No, no, look at Babe, see, I, I love you. Babe, Genevieve, see. Chief. 
told me I was lamenting about how Genevieve embarrassed him and told him not to come here again. What? But what is wrong with that, your daughter? <laughs> yeah? So she has turned into my daughter now because she did something mm. bad. I don't like it. She's our daughter. Mommy is our daughter. It's true. I didn't buy her from the market. See, 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 see this, this, this kind of thing that she's doing now. Eh? Just embarrassing us up and down. Hey. Why does she keep chasing away all her sisters? And as long as I know, she doesn't have a boyfriend. Anyway. Even half a boyfriend she has not brought here before. Let her even bring one quarter a man. Let us look at him and say one leg bent or one hand is somehow. No. Then the ones that manage to find their way inside here, she will find a way to chase them. She has the guts to tell Brad not to come back here. The poor boy called me and was lamenting. Is she home? She's upstairs. Please call her for me. I need to have a word with her. Who is this? Why do you have to tell Brad not to come back here? Dad, I didn't tell him that. Don't lie to me. It, it seems to me that you don't like him. Why? I don't know, Dad. I just don't like him. You must have reason for saying no to him. Dad is not my him? type. Type of what? Type! You think marriage is by type? Mom, I want a man that understands me. Brad doesn't get it. He just wants to change everything about me. Young woman, you have to adjust. When you marry someone and you stay together, the love grows as you stay together, okay? She just behaves as if huh? she has a factory somewhere uh -huh. where they bring out husband material to sew special man for her. Eh? No, it's not like that, though. Hey. Like, well, you're a woman, no? Your time on the shelf will expire very soon. Nobody will be coming to price you market. Even one night, they will not price it. Le, you are 28 now. Very soon, 30. The next day, 35. Then, hey, 40. You have expired. You will now be going about with walking stick looking for man to pay to marry you. Nobody will look at your face. Check why out. Think about it, oh. This is not right, man. I wonder why Genevieve cannot get a husband like, 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 like a normal woman. She's looking for a man she likes. Does she think it's by like? Eh? She's putting us through all this thing. I don't like it though. I don't like it at all. Why won't she just choose a husband? My dear, maybe we should find out the kind of man she likes so we introduce them to her. What do you think? Eh? Chief! You are the one saying this kind of thing. Oh, oh yeah. So, we should leave everything that we are doing. Enter markets. Enter streets. Carry bell and start to ring. Uh, uh, please, husband for, for Genevieve, we are desperate. You people should come and apply. Eh? At the age of 28, she, she can't find a man by herself. Anyway, I know what to do. Is it not me? I know what to do. Well, no problem. It's time to take action. I know what to do. It's time I start restricting her in this house. By the time she's no more comfortable here, she will know that time has reached for her to go to her own house. Do what you have to do. What I need is result. Eh? Do you hear me? No, sir, it's a good what I need is result because this is getting out of hand. Debbie, do you know I'm not coming for a relationship? I'm, I, I want to marry your friend. And have you discussed this with her? Of course. I was upfront with her from the beginning. It, it's just this club thingy. Uh, you know this club thingy is a big part of her, right? That's her career. I know. People change career. Think about it now. 
a married woman, if we eventually get married, and my mother will be going to the club at night, coming back in the morning, she won't have time for the family. Okay. I'll talk to her about it. I appreciate it. All right. I'll, I'll see you later. All right. Is your mommy in? Yeah, mommy's inside. Okay. That once you come, you change it to football. You know. <laughs> I'm, I'm very watch happy my... your, your club now has filled in the league. Hey. Kinds of tweak. <laughs> Dad, Mom, um, I'll begin to America next week. America? Mm-hmm. Oh. I don't have money now. I don't have money. <laughs> oh. Dad, it's an official trip. Ah. Mm -hmm. But I don't want you to go anywhere. You know the world is not safe right now. You know that. Dad, I'm attending a conference. I'm a speaker at the conference. I'm representing my company. Let someone else speak now. Dad, I'm the only one with an American passport. And it's short notice. No one else can go. I do not approve. I don't want you to go anywhere. Okay? That's fine now. Mom, I'm not saying anything. Why are you calling my name in the matter? You know where I stand now. From day one, I've never liked that your job. They'll be making you to be moving about at night. Lene, there are three categories of people that move about at night. Akuna, Ndioshi, then rich one list. You have not yet told us the one you are doing apprentice with to learn work. Really? That you are moving about like that. Really? Night time is when every decent woman should be with her husband. Imetu, yeah, metu. You see, I'm cold. Yeah, say I'm your blanket. That is what decent women do at night. Give I don't know what you are looking for in the midnight, moving up and down. You see, no wo club in there, man. I come out the choir. I support your father. America. You have money, we ain't go to America now. Babe, my parents have turned me into a house girl in this house. Babe, you exaggerate way too much. I'm not exaggerating. All I do is do house chores in the morning, in the afternoon, even at night. Look, I now have muscles. You don't have muscles. I can't see anything. It's not funny. Look at me now. Look, look at, look at, look at. I look like a wrestler. Muscles everywhere. I don't look like a man. You don't look like a man, eh? You be coming down small, big. And I know that all of this is because of Bright. Girl, please pass me the remote, big. What's this picture you keep watching? It's not fake. Really? Mm -hmm. This. I mean, something about it just seems off. It's a fake marriage. Mm. You think so? Yeah, of course.
Mm. Every evil spirit, <laughs> every veil <laughs> that is covering my daughter's face so that she will not marry. Hey, I say, be pulled out by fire. Amen. By fire. Amen. By fire. Amen. By fire. Amen. Hey, that didn't get any way. Every evil person in my husband's family that has decided that my daughter will not marry, die by fire. Amen. Every jobless person in my husband's family that used to walk about looking for who to feed them. And so they are jealous of those that are succeeding. All of them, one by one, start to fall down. Die by fire. Mm. Die by fire. Die by fire. Mm. Die by fire. Mm. Every single one of them that are causing problems in my daughter's life, they are jealous, so they don't want her to marry. <laughs> Hallelujah. Daddy, send down your Holy Ghost fire to my husband's compound in the village. Begin to destroy. Everybody that is there, that is plotting evil against me, my daughter, and our family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for answering Thank my you, prayer. Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Mm. Amen. Mm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Ah, so there's no evil people in your own family. No, you know my family is evil people there. Daddy, you know that your family, they are, they are always ra ra ra. There are peace-loving people in my family. We don't like problem. Hey. Hmm? Yeah, they just accept the truth. Oh. Accept it like that. Mm. Yeah. Hey. Daddy. No. Do you know that I... Did she tell you she was looking for her passport? I'm the one that took it. Eh? Why? That girl wants to run away to America. It don't, it's, it's, it's all of a sudden, this period now that she's saying she wants to travel. I see, I see. She wants to run away. She feels that they are disturbing her here. <laughs> she has not even started yet. No, no. Genevieve is a good girl now. He's a good girl. Huh? I'm sure he's not going to run away. I'm sure. But we'll continue to put pressure on her. Mm, I uh, but it's good what you are doing. It's good. That is my work now. Ah, she will see some. I've not even started. I, I, I got them gear. When I enter gear, <laughs> she will wash cloth oh, till her hand starts to peel. <laughs> I said, I've sent away everybody. She's going to do all the work in this house. She will scrub this house from top to bottom. Let me see the power she has to go to club. Let me see. Mm -hmm. When we come back, mm -hmm. home. She has not even started. I'm ready for her. I knew it. I knew it. I just knew it was my mom. It's okay now. No, it's not okay. It's my job they're playing with here. How can they just do that to me just because I'm not married? How? This is going too far. I agree. Eh? But they are your parents. You need to take it easy. I'm not going to say anything. I know exactly what to do. What are you going to do? I called him here to my office for us to have a one-on-one -on -one discussion, like father and daughter discussion. It's about your friend, Genevieve. Please, I just want to know, does she have a boyfriend? I believe so. You believe so? Which means you are not sure. For how long have you been unsure about her, not having a boyfriend. It seems like she's dating somebody, but, but I, I don't know for sure. Hmm. Did she tell you that she rejected another suitors? Yes, sir. Any reason to that? No, sir. She keeps rejecting all these men that are coming for her hand in marriage, and she can't even bring one home. Does it mean that she doesn't want to get married? She kept dating all the whole situations that are coming for a hand in marriage. Please, my dear. Huh? I called you here for you to help me to talk to her. You know, both of you are very, very close. Talk to her, even if she doesn't want to listen to my own or her mother's own, she might listen to you. I'll talk to her, sir. Please do. Please. It's getting out of hand. Keep rejecting all the whole men that are coming for her hand in marriage. It's not right. I'll talk to her. This guy is cute. Mm. 
Okay, this one too. It's true. Can I ask you something? Mm -hmm. Why are we browsing through plenty pictures of men? Debbie, for the fifth time, we are looking for a man for me to marry. And why are we looking for a man for you to marry? Uh, it's simple now. So I can marry him and take the gifts and money and house that my parents promised to give to me. I'll just use it to set up myself. So you want us to find a man for you to marry? Yes. So why not just choose one of the men that came for your hand in marriage? What about Bright? Hmm, Bright. He's the reason I'm doing this. My parents want to shove him down my throat and I am tired. Okay. So we find a neutral man for you to marry. Debbie, yes. Babe, I have so many questions. I know. Well, let's check. Yeah. Uh, um... No, 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 no. It's, it's too serious. Baby. Some people are very lucky in this life. Can you imagine that Genevieve's parents have promised to give her 10 million naira and the house if she gets married? Really, at this rate she's going, I'm sure the money and the house will be given to charity at the end of the day. No, she's really looking for a husband. Like, she even made me search through countless profiles on Facebook, eh? Looking for a suitable man to marry. Are you serious? I guess you will be in true Facebook for her husband. Are you sure the guy is going to marry her? Are you sure about that? I don't know. But she has a plan. She has a plan. To be honest, I don't like you hanging out with that lady. And I would love for you to stop hanging out with her. At least reduce it for now. Somebody cannot give you small gossip in peace, oh. Somebody cannot give you gossip. Maybe it's not about the gossip right now. I just feel it's the right thing to do. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, who is that? Mom. Mm. Nothing. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Is that your boyfriend? No. Which day will you introduce a living boyfriend to us, eh? A real one, a living one. Not all these ones that you are looking at in Nihana. Don't be deceived by all those uh, six pack or cut up. Nothing is there. After using all their energy and going to the gym. The time that they would have been using to make money. Accounts. Oh, no. Even all the energy that they are supposed to use to take care of a woman. Nothing is there again. They've used all the energy here. Mom. Nothing is Mom, there. mom, mom. What do you want? What do I want? Uh-uh. I came to gist with you now. No, don't gist. Mom, I'm okay. Please, I have headache. Headache? Hmm. Yeah. What do you want? Hmm. I'm okay. I hope it's not pregnancy, yo. Hey. Please don't come and be pregnant in my house, oh. I am I making it in get Nowhere to cover my head. Should if I, should I leave this room for you? Leave the room for me. Yeah. No, I have my own room with my husband. The same way you should have a room with your husband in your own house if you agree to go out and meet a human man and get married. There are men you can meet in the church. Hey! If you see good looking men of God in church, see them doing usher like this. Hello, hello. Please, can I, can I get hey, to know hey, you? Hey, uh, hey, I'm not interested. Please, you, you know, you're so beautiful. I just want to, can, can I just know you, know your name or something, please? Oh, sure. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Genevieve. Uh, my, my name is Desmond. Nice to meet you. Uh, you know, I was thinking maybe I can take you for lunch. And sometimes, you know, we can't just talk. I just want to get to know you, you know. You're oh, so well, beautiful. Thank you. Well, luckily for you, I'm hungry. So we can do that now. You know, I, I, I was thinking maybe next week, you know. I don't really have my, my card on me. My wallet is... Uh, So what do you do? Um, I manage a club 
and I also manage people's events. Mm. Mm-hmm. Sounds interesting. <laughs> Club manager. Yeah. So <laughs> enough about me. What do you do? I drive a taxi. What? Hello? Yeah. It was denied? What about the Canadian visa? Denied too? Denied visa. Uh, I'm sorry. I overheard your conversation. No, it's, it's okay. I mean, I was denied, so what's the big deal? Why do you want to travel out? I just want to leave this country now. Everything is so difficult. Even as hard as you try to work, it's still so difficult. I just want to leave, go somewhere, try to make a better life. Mm. <clears throat> I have a proposition for you. That will help you get an American visa. How? What do I have to do? How? T -t Tell me. What do I have to do? That's good, Baba. Hey, you want to let me go and no, say, uh, uh, Should I come help you? No, don't worry, my dear. You're a special guest today, oh? Hey, how are you, Baba? How was your trip now? Fine. How have you guys been? Well, be good. This one? Yes, that's How was your honeymoon? Ah, daddy, we're still so honeymooning. <laughs> <laughs> Food. My demand. Chief, you're doing as if you're not hearing me. Hmm? Because I told you that we are going on our vacation. You don't eat and talk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just hear my own. No? Hear my own. I want to travel. I want to go on vacation. Don't mm -hmm. worry, I will take you to Bahamas mm -hmm. next year. Okay? People are my witnesses. So. Yeah, your mother, <laughs> we've heard, Mama. That reminds me of something. Um, 
I made my daughter a promise when she was a young woman. And I'm going to fulfill that promise today. Um, Ego Yvonne. Yes, Dad. Here are the documents to your new house in Lekki. <laughs> Dad! All furnishing on me. Thanks, Daddy. I Thank love you, you so much. <laughs> I love you too, Thank my you. daughter. I love you too. Mm. Desmond. Yes, sir. In yes, as sir. much as I handed over the document to her, both of you own the house. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate it, sir. <laughs> you both should flourish, okay? And be a me plenty grandchildren. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. You look for that. Thanks, um, Mom. This is a token from your father and I. Mm, Genevieve, we're very proud of you. And um, we know that now that you're married, you and Desmond together, you put heads together, and you're going to spend this wisely. This is too much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> 10 million naira. Wow. <laughs> Taxi now that we're married. Do you have another one for me? Well, you can't be driving a taxi now. You're not my husband. Pretending husband? Oh, well, you're still my husband. Husband is included. Husband? I hope you remember that in the night when you were there. For real? My friend, hey, married woman, you still not answered me. Eh? Why is it I don't get to see you anymore? Uh, my dear, since I bought half of the club, it's been work, work, work for me. Work, work, work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even marriage cannot slow you down. <laughs> my dear, work is not going to wake up one morning and say he doesn't love me anymore. Fave, mm -hmm. Solomon was a scum. Mm -hmm. Not all men are like that. Look at Desmond. He's a total opposite of Solomon. Right. Hmm? Speaking of which, how is he even? Hmm. Well, he went to work. He's taxi driving. He's still driving that taxi. My darling, it is so embarrassing. And I dropped his CV in some places, but I still have not heard anything. I'm not surprised though. The test class is sociology. <laughs> It's not impressive. Have you sent it to Julie? You know they always have openings. That's true. How come I never thought of it? I'll do that immediately I get home. Yeah. Did I tell you I met your mom at Julie's wedding? Oh, really? <laughs> Viv, I dodged her. Since this is your marriage, eh? Huh. I'm so afraid of your parents, too. <sighs> I won't lie. The guilt runs deep in me. Like, I feel so bad for what I did. I do not believe funny that they've been so nice to me this spirit. Mm. I just hope and pray they never find out what I did. So, all good. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, 
Amen. Oh, when you go into Jerusalem and shirt, tie, and shoes, I'll go out for a job interview. I picked up a man yesterday and I, I told him I was looking for a job, so he asked me to come to his company for an interview. And then he also said I should just uh, cook it. I don't know. Um, well, yeah, okay, but, excuse me. Why you need breakfast? Well, it's your first day at work and I really want you to go there. Like your voice. I mean, you look so sexy when you, you know, you twitch your lips. Thanks, man. Do you want breakfast or not? Sure. Good. Hey, 
Listen to me, if you give me a chance to I don't care, take her elsewhere. She is not a prostitute. Alright? <laughs> well, she's not a prostitute, she's a good girl. What are you telling me? I'm telling you. Do you know the babe was moaning so loud that you would think a car was about to give birth? Very classless. For about an hour, I couldn't even drink my morning coffee in peace. I can't believe that he would bring a prostitute into our matrimonial home. That is not cool. That's not cool at all. Our matrimonial. Our matrimonial. Who does that? Wait. Are you guys doing it? Ew. No. Why not? What do you mean, why not? That's a fake marriage. Okay, so why are you so upset about him being with somebody else? Well, he should take that somebody else elsewhere, not in our house. I don't know, you just seem really, really upset about this. Look, uh, she saw the lady and I uh, walking uh, out of the house. Uh, yes. I mean, Kesmer, how could you bring the person into your home? <sighs> she's, she's not a person, she's my queen. We work together. And, uh, I mean, I tried explaining to her, but she wouldn't listen to me. Because what you've done is so beautiful. I don't understand. You listen to me. When we signed the agreement, it was stated that sex was a part of our arrangement. And due to that, I mean, both of us were free to have a relationship or, you know, whatever. So I don't see any reason why she should be upset. Yeah, you can have relationships, but don't bring them into your natural home. This is also my home. Where do you expect me to go? To a hotel? This is where I live. And the marriage is, 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 is we're pretending nothing serious about it. Okay, that's fine. So what do you want from me? Okay. What I want is uh, for you to help me talk to her. I mean, let her see reason because uh, she's upset. I'm not happy she's upset. Yeah, you know, she's carrying things in the house. And, uh, I don't want to be responsible for her unhappiness, so just help me talk to her. Please. Okay. I want to see you. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm Look, I, I noticed you've been avoiding me, and I just want to let you know that that girl, she's not a prostitute. She's my colleague at the office. Yeah? Yes, you brought her home to sleep with her. Yeah, right. No, I didn't mean to upset you. I'm not upset. No, why are you so angry at me? Me? Angry? I'm not. Genevieve, look, I, I, I was just trying to get your attention. I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't know how to do it, you know. I, 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 
Of course, we like you so much. I mean, I, I feel like I'm loving you every day, but to be look, every night since you stop talking to me, it's like I can't even sleep. I keep thinking about you. Jeffy, I mean, I think I, I really like you, Jeffy. I just, I mean, every time I'm together, I keep thinking about you. I just want to be together. Jeffy, I say something. I don't feel something, too. Fantastic. I mean, the presentation went very well. My boss was impressed, and uh, I see some big things happening at the office. How was your day? Well, I just got started. We had a new chef that came in, and we were all set for the real office. I wish you luck. I wish you good, good luck. But I'm going to come with you to the club tonight. Yeah, I want me to actually have. Just in case you need any help. Mm -hmm. I know you've been working so hard at this uh, whole lunch of, you know, you know, of the club, but I just want to be there you know, to see it come to fruition for myself. Mm -hmm. You know what you're going to do. I know, but I want to be there. So, you just sit here, let me go upstairs and fresh it up, and I'll be in tune just a bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, I'm Tonight I'm going to party! Um, thank you for coming to the club with me. Thank me. <laughs> thank you, Genevieve. You've done way, way too much for me. How? You won't understand. <laughs> Anyways, are you not going to be tired at all today? I'm going to be so excited to tell everybody about the great night I had at the club. I mean, I met so many celebrities. All oh, those, your big, big musicians coming <laughs> to your club. <laughs> wow. Anyways, um, what would you like to eat when you get back? Um, fried rice and chicken. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> okay, no problem. We love fried rice and chicken. Thank you, baby girl. <laughs> Where's your phone? Um, I don't know, somewhere lying around. I sent you 20k for you to get the things you need to make my fried rice. Really? Oh, come on, give me that beautiful smile. <laughs> that smile that just makes my day. <laughs> Okay. Where's my key? Is that what it is? Yes. What 
would you tell your mother in law that she can't keep on interfering in your marriage like that? Tell her what? Ha. I can't say that to you. Why not? Tell my mother in law. Mm -hmm. She can't talk to me about her son. Yeah? I can't say that. Ha. It's me. I will talk. Oh. Really? Mm -hmm. You know, your fake marriage to this one means you don't get to do with your real mother in law. Fake or not? I will still talk my mind. Okay. So. When it's time to divorce this one, I hope you will say your mind to your parents. What's the meaning of this now? What has my divorce got to do with this gist? Nothing. It's true. Look, Kim. <laughs> Kim, you're not a gist, I think. Kim is a good gist. Mommy, what are you saying? I heard here and there with his cousin. I think their marriage is in trouble. But they were here on Sunday now. Didn't you see them? Daddy, I say I heard them. Eh? It's like you don't know your daughter, Genevieve. She can do and undo. They are barely one year in marriage, so they can't get us now. Eh? We have to look into this deal first. I will look into it. He said it was because he was her best friend and dead baby. Right. Yes. Um, I was actually on my way to my shop, but yeah, sure, I can come right away. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm coming. Yeah. Daddy, good evening, sir. Good evening, David. How are you? Sweetie, come on. Um, baby. Sir. I called you here for a reason. As we all know, you and Jennifer are the best of friends of childhood. And uh, you know, I also take you as my daughter. Can do anything for you. Devin, please, I want you to tell me the truth. What is going on between this mom and my daughter Jennifer? Genevieve and Desmond. I don't know, sir. Is there, is there anything going on this morning? Yes. There'll be no need to lie. Huh? I know about the divorce. So no need to lie. Just talk. Daddy, I I I don't know. Mommy, I, I, I don't know. I don't know anything. Oh, so as I'm talking to you, like father and daughter, you don't like it? You want me to involve police? Down. Genevieve's marriage to Desmond is fake. What? Back to sender. To fear. My daughter's marriage is not fake. Ah! Honey, let's hear her. Oh yeah, talk on. Let's hear. Genevieve paid Desmond to marry her. It's a fake marriage. Ah. Mm. You said? Oh. <laughs> Is that what you were talking about? Hey! <sighs> hey! Sure, 
and say, Mama, everyone is good. Generally, what would you do this to us? I wanted to make you a woman. By paying a man to marry you? When you would have choose one of these men that have been coming here for a hand in marriage, that would have taken good care of you, you decide to pay a man to marry you? Why? I'm, I'm sorry, Daddy. I'm so, so sorry. I'm sorry, sir. And you, Desmond, you took you as one of us and decided to join your hand in this. Why? Sir, I'm so sorry. Please. Where did we go wrong? What did we ever do to you? Where did we go wrong? Mama, I'm sorry. But I can't take it back. Mom, I'm, I'm also so sorry. I, I share in the blame. I, I'm sorry we'll not solve this problem. What will I say to everybody? The world will now say that my daughter cannot keep her marriage. I'm sorry, Mom. Jennifer, I don't understand you. I don't understand why you can't be normal. Why can't you be normal like other girls? Mommy. Genevieve is a good woman. The, the, the other girls you're talking about out there. Compared to Genevieve, Genevieve is a wonderful woman. I'm, so, I'm sorry, Mom. Since you both want to be divorced, I hereby dissolve this marriage. As for you, Desmond, I don't ever want to set my eyes on you again. Get out of my house. Out! 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 Arranging a marriage. How is this my fault? How is all of this my fault? You didn't act your part right. If you had disappeared when your contract ended, this would not have happened. What has that got to do with anything? Your parents found out the truth about your lies, then you want to blame me. Why shouldn't I blame you? You were supposed to leave immediately the contract ended. Why didn't you leave? Maybe I didn't want to leave. This would not have happened if you had left. I don't think they should divorce like that too. Why? Didn't you hear them? Their plan is to divorce eventually, so what difference does it make? I don't want my daughter to be a divorcee. Then what do you want? Chief, force them to stay, stay together now. See, the, uh, the way Genevieve is going about all this, she will go to any length to get what she wants. Since she wants freedom, let's give her the freedom. What are people going to say about us outside? Eh? When who will marry her again now? After they say that one year, one year of marriage she couldn't even maintain. One year. That's not the biggest problem. If she can go to a land to plan a scam like this, uh, I'm sure she will survive. She will be okay. Okay? Don't bother yourself. Any the moon. Lie down, lie down, lie down, bed. Then I will talk more, huh? I'm to sleep.
Genevieve is a good woman. The, the, the other girls you were talking about out there, compared to Genevieve, Genevieve is a wonderful woman. I'm, so, I'm sorry, Mom. Since you both want to be divorced, I hereby dissolve this marriage. As for you, Desmond, I don't ever want to set my eyes on you again. Get out of my house. Out! Out! How can a beautiful girl reject suitors? What is even wrong with my daughter? I hope she knows what she's doing. God, please intervene. Oh. I don't know how Genevieve would, would do a thing like this. I just... I can't believe that Genevieve has the kind of heart that she used to sit down and complain this kind of thing against me and her father. My heart is broken. I just... Every day as I'm waking up, I'll just be praying that... I just dreamt this whole thing that I'll wake up. Do you know that Genevieve is not even picking my calls again? She's now avoiding me. She's not picking my calls either. I even went to her house the other day and she didn't open the door for me. I, I, I can't believe that she would just put up this kind of wicked plan. I think Genevieve felt pressured. Pressure what? What pressure? Me and my father asking for that, it's so strange. Just for her to get married like other people's daughters. What pressure? Genevieve didn't like any of her suitors. And we both know her very well. It would not have worked out. Nobody has a perfect partner. We're all managing. We're all different. I've known Genevieve since we were children. She never does anything traditional. That's just who she is. You're right. And that is why we need to change her. No, no, no. We need to accept her just the way she is. That's what unconditional love is. What? What do we do now? We do nothing. Let's just give Genevieve some time. Everything will be okay. Stop crying. Okay? It's okay. It's okay. I knew it was going to get to this, and I warned you about this. What was I supposed to do? You were supposed to tell your friend the truth and nothing else. All she has been doing didn't make sense from the beginning. But you know, Genevieve, she would have done it anyway. Look at it now, I can imagine how our parents feel. They feel so betrayed. How can a child be causing their parents so much pain like this? Why? She only doesn't deserve this and you need to apologize to him. That is my stand on this. Daddy, please forgive me for everything. You've been so kind to me and the least I owe you is the truth. Debbie, I am disappointed in you. You know I took you as my daughter and you couldn't tell me what is happening. I'm so sorry, but I made a promise to Genevieve that I won't tell anyone. 
I'm so sorry about everything that happened, but I don't regret it. Debbie. Sir, I don't know how to explain it, but in all of Genevieve's weirdness, her and Desmond go so well together, like rice and beans. What do you mean by that? In what she did, Genevieve found the right man that really suits her. Did Desmond send you? Has he been talking to you? No. Desmond didn't send me. I just came here to tell you the truth. Why won't you talk to your parents? They're worried sick about you. I'm ashamed of myself. I can't face them. But you already know now. The least you can do is not cause them to worry. If you don't get it, I've been disappointed to my parents. They did my work. They hate the decisions that I made. And now, I have given them a lot of reason to hate me. Mm -hmm. Your parents do hate you. They just want the best choices for you. Mm -hmm. Even though they may not know what that is, I mean, you can blame them. They're very weird. That's why I'm here. Three. All those men that came to act in my head in marriage, I have any feelings for them. I don't intend to be selfish, but if any of those men had married me, I never would have been happy. You are who you are. You can't blame yourself for that. Please forgive me. I don't know what I was thinking when I made such a decision. I'm sorry. That was a very foolish and selfish decision, Genevieve. Huh? You did it because you were only thinking of yourself. I'm sorry, Daddy. <sighs> uh, it was wrong of me. I was just thinking of how to get off a difficult situation. What difficult situation? That a suture is coming for your hand in marriage? Please, Dad, forgive me. I have called Bright, and he's still interested in marrying me. I also have put up my shares in the club for sale. I promise to find a normal job. Please. Stand up and sit down. Now, tell me the truth. Are you ready to marry Bright? Yes, Daddy. You sure? Yes. Sir, so, I... <laughs> I'm more than happy uh, after I received the original call. And, and Shiva, I must confess, I love your daughter, truly. I, I, I truly love her and I'm ready to forgive her for anything, anytime, any day. Well, so you are not bothered about my daughter being married before, no? No. What about your family? What are they saying? Sincerely speaking, my parents are not happy with me. They don't want me to marry a second-hand wife. And, uh, no, 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 no. My daughter is not a second-hand, okay? I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, maybe that didn't really uh, come out well. But what I'm trying to say is that they, they want me to get married to um, a fresh, young woman. You know, but, but I'm a grown man and... I'm old enough to decide who I want for a wife and dance Genevieve. Hmm. But do you and Genevieve agree before coming to see me? Yeah, 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 yes, sir. You she, sure? She, yeah, she, she, she has agreed to marry me. As a matter of fact, she hasn't stopped working in the club. So, so. I know. Yeah. So, so, so I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm, I'm even ready to pay a bright price now. 
Well, Bright, um, I would love to be your father-in-law, okay? But you have to agree with Genevieve. And as soon as you agree with her, you can come with your parents. There's no problem. My son, what is the matter with you? Nothing, Mom. I just want to marry Genevieve. I thought we have avoided her all this while. Why are you going back to her? Genevieve is everything I want in a woman. That second-handed woman? Is that what you want as a wife? Mom, is it because of this club thing and that's why you're calling Genevieve a second-handed woman? If that's the case, then I've spoken to her and she's ready to quit. Would that make you happy? Is that what you want for a wife? Once a slut is always a slut. And once a prostitute is always a prostitute. Mom, see, I won't have you calling her names. This is my future wife we're talking about. <laughs> Your future wife indeed. Look straight into my eyes. You will not marry her. Mom, I'm here to let you know that I'm going to see her parents soon. And that is it. You just have to deal with it. I'm out. You are my son. I'm waiting for you. Let's watch and see. So how does it feel going to bed at night instead of going to work? Hmm. Weird. I miss the clock terribly. The loud music. Crazy customers. And of course, what's her name? No. <laughs> so do you think you'd ever go back to it? Um, I don't know. My life with Bright will be different from what it is now. So you're really going to marry Bright? Yes, I will. I guess it's time to face reality. But what about you? I'll be fine. They say you eventually fall in love with your husband, right? Good to see you. Yeah. Then I guess I'm a lucky woman to be marrying Bright. He loves me, and I'm sure he'll be good to me. Thanks for the drink. So I will be coming on Saturday with my parents to see your parents, okay? Okay. You shouldn't look happy. Come on, I've agreed to your date. Smile a bit now. And uh, what is that that you're drinking? Coffee. Hold on. I, I hope that's not going to make you barry. Excuse me. Babe, see, see, I don't mean it. I'm sorry. You, you, you just get angry about little things. I'm sorry. My parents are already complaining about your age, so I just... <sighs> it's not like that, babe. See, you get angry about little things. Come on. All right? So see, I just... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We can't, we can't be like this all the time. 
you know, you'll be my, my wife soon. I don't want anything now. Okay, it's fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Genevieve, let me start by saying sorry for everything that happened. I apologize. Do you know why I couldn't leave your house? Why? That's because I love you, Genevieve. I love you so much and I, I just couldn't see myself living without you. I know you can be stubborn, you can be insulting, you, you can be condescending, but you are one strong, beautiful black woman. And most of all, Genevieve, you are my good luck charm. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Look, that day when I met you, I was so beat. I was so broke. But when I saw you, I knew I had to talk to you. It's like, no, I just have to talk to this beautiful lady. And when I walked up to you, you took me out to eat. I mean, you, you paid for our food. Genevieve, it's like at every given time, you just know what I need. I mean, how can I live without you? Genevieve, I have missed you and I, I love you so much. I miss you too. I love you so much. Oh, we. Genevieve. Please make me the happiest man alive. Marry me, Genevieve. Let me make you as happy as you have made me. Please, my love, marry me. Yes, I yes. will. And she said yes. Yes, come here, baby. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. And she said yes. <laughs> hey, so I was so shabby. Hallelujah! Get my point. Hey, hallelujah! <laughs> 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 